Oh, hello folks. I didn't see you come in there. Hey, welcome back to Boda Boss. I'm just filling up my tractor, topping off the tank. After uh, finishing up my mowing today. So, that's a chore that takes anywhere from two and a half. From two and a half to three hours. Just, just running the tractor. That don't count edging or anything like that. So, I just uh, topped this off. I had four and a half gallons in here and now I have one and a half gallons. So I put three gallons of fuel in the machine, in the old BX1850, and it took about five minutes. So not too bad. I'm really enjoying this uh, pump from Harbor Freight. It's a uh, liquid transfer pump. Regularly retails for uh, $9.99. If you use a 30% off coupon, you get it for about seven. Uh, excellent, excellent bargain there, folks. I really, and really like that pump, as I said in the previous video that I did. But hey, I'm glad you came over today because I wanted to show you the latest, the latest modification to my tractor. And this track this modification comes courtesy of Paul and Kathy Short over at Specialty Repair and Custom Mods up in uh, Newfoundland, Canada. So I tell you what, they're in Bay Roberts, Newfoundland, and uh, Paul really uh, did a spectacular job. Let me grab something here real quick. This is my old light bar. I had two. LED uh, nye lights pointing forward and one big uh, utility light pointing backwards, all of them LED lights. And uh, I had this connected to the rocks here. And uh, you, as you can see by this mess of wires, I just really, I had a hard time figuring out how I was gonna hide those wires. Now I had a plan until Mr. Uh, Short up there in Bay Roberts came out with the uh, Stealth LED mod module. Man, that's a great light bar, and uh, if you really want a very nice package, check out this. I have a previous video. Um, I'm not quite sure of the number. I'll put the number of the video down below, but um, and I'll put some links in the description about how you can get your own toolbox from specialty repair and custom mod and the reason i showed you my light bar is because i was going to take the angle iron i had there and i was going to make my own toolbox mount using that light bar it was going to be converted from a light bar to a toolbox bar so but i wasn't sure how i was going to do it i had an idea in my head and then all of a sudden paul must have been reading my mind and he came out with his own toolbox d design and i don't think i could do a better job so instead of messing around investing my time buying parts buying a, uh, a box i didn't know if i wanted to go with metal or plastic paul he uh, changed all that and just said hey here's what you need bob and so i'll link to his video i'll link to his website where you can put your own order in and I'm sure Kathy would be happy to ship one to you ASAP. So this is called the Twister Toolbox. And the reason it's called the Twister is because this knob back here, you gotta twist it and it unlocks and then swings open and allows you to have access to your fuel um, fuel cap so where you put your fuel in so what a unique design it's got a, uh, a mount here that's designed so that when it's closed and secured your toolbox is level and uh, this will mount on so the ROPS on a Kubota BX is approximately three inches by one and a half inch 
and uh, if your ROPS is inside those dimensions, I believe this toolbox would work on your tractor. Um, check it out, um, three inch by one and a half inch. Let me measure that again. Three inch, one and a half inch. So if your green tractor has the same size ROPS or you got another color tractor beside orange uh, or a different orange, Check those measurements of your ROPS, and uh, if you think it'll fit, give it a try. But I tell you what, don't go asking them for one of these toolboxes and, you know, ha and, and then say, oh, it didn't fit. That ain't right to them. So this toolbox is designed for the Kubota BX, but I'm just telling you what the size is of my ROPS, and if you think yours will fit, then, you know, give it a, give it a look, give it a see. He also has another toolbox for the right hand side that is, um, um, it doesn't have the swing out arm. So I'll put a link in my video. I don't have the right hand toolbox and for now I'm not going to order one. I'm going to see, uh, I'm going to try this, keep this thing uh, to the minimum. Right now I only have two crescent wrenches in here. That's so that I can remove the uh, remove the uh, implements on my three-point hitch without running back to the garage. So, yeah, this is it. I'll put some pictures in here, get some close-ups of this, so uh, I can point out the details. Uh, the very nice box. Let me give you some measurements on the box here. So, if you got any questions like that. So the inside of the box is approximately 11 and 3 quarter inches by 6 and a quarter inch. 11 and 3 quarter by 6 and a quarter. I'll put that on the screen so it's a little more visible. It also uh, incorporates a lock built into the box. It's uh, watertight. It has a gasket in here to seal it from the elements. Um, carry handle when it's not attached comes with all the mounting hardware you're going to need need it took me approximately five or ten minutes to put this on I mean it was super see it simple super simple I really like this design Paul thank you very much Kathy thank you very much for shipping this to me it arrived in a very timely manner um, provided me a tracking code and everything like that what a great experience going to paul and kathy short's website contacted pat kathy via email and uh she's a very lovely lady and uh will take care of you hook you up also if you're looking at some of his other mods maybe he's got some i think he's got some bolt on hooks you might be interested in them hey save yourself some shipping costs Buy them at the same time, put them inside, they can put them inside this bucket, toolbox, and include them in the shipment. So Kathy can work on the shipping costs to uh, maybe bring the price down a little bit of what's listed there. So very, very um, outgoing people want to uh, make the experience good for you. They made it great for me. Uh, thank you once again to the uh, specialty repairs and custom mods up in uh, Bay Roberts, uh, New Finland. Excellent people. And I'm just loving my LED light. I turn it on when I'm uh, along the road and uh, want to put a little extra light out there and let the people see me a little better. So once again, thank you all very much. Um, with that being said, hey, this would be a great time to hit the like button subscribe share this video with your friends if you know someone that has a bx and they looking for a toolbox solution this might be their answer or maybe they'd like one on the opposite side uh, maybe they like both of them so take a look at the uh, links i provided below and uh, kathy will be sure to uh, answer all your questions uh, if you have a question maybe i can answer it um, if i can't I'll let you know and uh, once again direct you towards their website. So, hey, thanks again. Have a great day and 
See you next time on Boat of Bobs. Bye.